Hi, I'm Leah Carey, and this is the Good Girls Talk About Sex video series. So last time I talked about reframing your search for a perfect partner away from the huge long list of attributes that you require them to have and thinking more about how you want to feel when you're with that person and framing that in terms of your five non-negotiables. Uh, for me, my biggest non-negotiable is that I want to feel like the best version of myself when I'm with my partner. But I think a really reasonable question would be, but what if my non-negotiables look like I don't want him to cheat on me because I've been cheated on in the past. Or I don't want somebody who is stingy with money because I've always been with somebody who didn't want to take care of me. Um, so coming at it from sort of a reaction from your previous relationships, as opposed to looking forward into your next relationship and saying, this is what I do want rather than looking at your past relationship and saying, I don't want to do that again. So let me tell you a quick story. A long time ago, <laughs> um, before my sexual journey of exploration and healing, I was doing some online dating. And I had decided that one of my like absolute hard red lines was that I had been with so many people who were game players and who were abusers that I was absolutely searching for somebody who doesn't play games. And I even put that in my online dating profile, no game players. And I found somebody who I was really excited about. We seemed to really mesh. We had some great uh, online conversations. And then it was time to meet in person. And we get out of the cars. And she says to me, so I just want you to know that um, I already met somebody else, but I decided to meet you in case you were better, but you're not. <laughs> Uh, so total ego crusher, first of all, <laughs> but also like, what is that if it's not a huge game? And I was so pissed off that I had put in, you know, all capital letters on my dating profile, no game players. And what had shown up, but somebody who was like right up front about the fact that she was playing games with me. Um, I learned from that interaction that it's really important to go for what I want as opposed to moving away from what I don't want. Because if I'm really focused on game players, whether I'm saying I want them or I don't want them, no matter what I'm saying, I am still honing in on people's uh, potential for playing games because that's where my focus is. If I say I want somebody who's not a cheater, I am totally focused on whether I think that person is going to be a cheater or not and I'm not paying attention to any of their other attributes. I'm probably missing some red flags. So in the example of the game player, uh, Rather than saying, I don't want somebody who plays games, maybe I reframe that as, I want to be with somebody who I feel really stable and comfortable and secure with. That's what's really important to me. What's important is not the game playing, it's how I feel when I'm with them, how secure and stable I feel 
because if they're a game player, I'm not going to feel secure and stable. But that also covers a lot of other things. Secure and stable also means that I feel like they are meeting my needs, that I feel like I have their attention when we're together. It covers um, the fact that I feel like they are sensitive to my needs and fulfilling my needs. All of that gets covered by this positive choice of what I'm going toward. Um, similarly, you know, the idea of, I want somebody who's not going to cheat. Well, okay, but what if you said, I want to be with somebody who I know is completely committed to me. That's so much more powerful than just not cheating. That means that they are fully, um, fully committed to your well-being not just to the sanctity of your sexual commitment, but to your emotional commitment, to your well-being as a total and complete person. So I want to encourage you to start thinking in terms of how you want to feel, what you want to experience, what you want to move toward, rather than focusing on what has happened in the past that you don't want to repeat. Now, I understand um, that this can be a really challenging thing to think through. If you're, if you're still really focused on what has happened in the past that you don't want to repeat, it can be hard to switch your mindset uh, just because some woman on the internet told you to in a four-minute video. So um, I want to say, to tell you that um, this is something that's really helpful to talk out with somebody else. I, if this is something you want to work on, I would love to talk with you. There's information about my coaching services in the description of this video. Please get in touch. We can really start to figure out what it is you're going toward and how to find that kind of person. I look forward to hearing from you. If this is your first time here, please don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell so that you get my new videos when they come up. I look forward to talking to you again soon. Here's to your better sex life.